Hi everyone, I'm here today with a piece of open source software called Cam Studio. Um, it's a small little screen recording application and it's one of the few that do work with Windows 8 RTM. Uh, while paid programs like Camtasia might work for the uh, editions that do have Windows Media Player bundled in, the particular RTM build that I'm using right now is an Enterprise N edition, which means that it has uh, Windows Media Player stripped out. And Camtasia basically needs some of the DL DLLs in there, uh, so it won't run. On this build, it might with the builds that do have Media Player built in. But if you're running an N edition, uh, you're going to need to use something like Cam Studio. Uh, and unfortunately, Fraps uh, is pretty much out of the question, too. Uh, in either case just because it's not yet updated to record the Windows 8 desktop. Um, so Cam Studio uh, it's free it's a pretty light download um, it's under 10 megabytes and basically it's gonna record audio and video to an AVI file and if you find yourself getting into a you know lengthy uh, you know presentation or recording and you know doing like a quick look uh, extended of Windows 8 for instance or something of that nature you're gonna find yourself running into a two gigabyte file size uh, ceiling where anything beyond that and the uh, you know the saving of the finished video is gonna fail because the particular codec that Cam Studio is using uh, can't be larger than two gigabyte uh, audio and video, you know, file size combined. Um, so if you get into a lengthy recording, you're going to run into a situation where uh, it's going to throw up an unable to rename slash copy audio file error which doesn't really tell you a whole lot about what the problem is and the problem that I have with this program is that it doesn't tell you about this two gigabyte uh, ceiling you know it'll happily let you record as much as you want for as long as you want um, you know without any errors or warning or you know it's, it's not on the website anywhere it doesn't tell you about this limit unless you know until basically you get sick and tired of hearing the unable to you know rename audio file error and you go searching and you find uh, some forum posts that you know dive into this problem <clears throat> so <clears throat> sorry so basically if you uh, you know if you want to do lengthy recordings at good quality settings <clears throat> You're gonna have to play around with the default Cam Studio uh, capture settings. So, unfortunately, I can't show you guys in video form because uh, if you try to record Cam Studio with Cam Studio uh, in the options uh, dialog box, it implodes and crashes. <laughs> so, I have some photos here of what it looks like. I uh, should ignore this because the default is actually 70. <clears throat> but the capture frames every 5 milliseconds and playback rate of 200 milliseconds uh, are default values. Um, basically the problem arises because you're you know recording at such a high frames per second that the file size is going to shoot up rather dramatically. Uh, using the default settings and I believe the Microsoft Video 1 codec um, I get about 60 megabytes per minute uh, you know somewhere around there when recording which for the most part you know you're gonna be able to record for quite a while but if you ratchet this quality setting up to a hundred uh, you're looking at like a three to four minute recording before you hit that two, two gigabyte ceiling um, so what you need to do, uh, you know, in, in either case, uh, is to play around with these values. And the best values that i found are 25 and 40. 
uh, by setting the capture frame every 25 milliseconds and playback rate to 40 um, you, you get like I don't know probably twice the recording time somewhere around there you get um, a lot more recording time and the quality is still pretty good um, like I said if you do ratchet the quality of the um, video codec up to a hundred uh, you're probably going to want to go with an even higher value here uh, which basically amounts to a lower frames per second <sighs> but uh, in either case what the important thing to keep in mind is that these two values need to multiply out to a thousand uh, if these two values don't multiply out to exactly a thousand milliseconds or one second uh, the longer your video is, the more out of sync the audio and the video is going to become. Uh, so in the default, we had 5 and 200, which multiply out to 1,000. And I used 25 and 40. Um, you know, there's a couple other combinations that you can use. But um, these are probably the best that I've found. Uh, unless you, like I said, are going to ratchet this up to 100, in which case you're probably, um, you know, going to have to go with a even lower frames per second, but a higher value here. Um, so yeah, so that's basically it, and I hope that uh, it helps someone that's trying to record some footage in Windows 8 or not using Cam Studio. Uh, and running into that error um, because trust me I know that it's annoying um, I was trying to do a you know a video earlier today and did like six or seven takes uh, just because I thought that it was actually a like I don't know file permissions error where it wasn't able to copy the audio file so I kept trying to redo it and change the you know recording directory and all this stuff and it wasn't working so yeah, I really hope that Cam Studio fixes that error message to tell you what the problem actually is. And what would be even nicer to see is that is some kind of warning. Uh, if you do hit that two gigabyte, um, you know, file size, where it will either stop the recording or, you know, at least tell you beforehand, hey, don't go over two gigabytes or else you're screwed. <sighs> Alright, but that's my rant. Uh, hopefully it helps you guys, and if you guys have any other <clears throat> screen recording programs that work with Windows 8 that you like, um, you know, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I hope it helps.